Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're exploring how to craft unique digital jigsaw puzzles tailored for your business. We'll also share ways you can use digital puzzles to nurture and grow your business. This is yet another powerful AI tool to add to your arsenal, enabling you to offer tailor-made solutions to your customers. Don't miss out on more incredible insights and techniques from the She Speaks AI channel. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay up to date with the newest AI tools, passive income strategies, and products. Let's thrive together. All right, so I wanted to do a quick video, hopefully it'll be quick, <laughs> um, to show you how to create a digital puzzle. And we're also going to talk about a few ways that you can use this um, in your business or just for your own personal use. But I know that my mother loves to do online puzzles. So she's engrossed in her cell phone. I'm like, are you doing a puzzle? She will just, yeah, how we zone out on, you know, flipping through Facebook yeah, she doesn't do Facebook, but she does digital puzzles. And so I'm going to show you how to create that. Um, so the first thing you do is go to jigsawplanet.com, jigsawplanet.com. And you see me have it highlighted up here in the left hand corner. And when you go there, I mean, you'll, uh, you'll be automatically come to this page. Um, but over in the right hand side, you'll see the options to sign in. I'm, I'm already signed in, so you don't see that, but you'll see that option to sign in. But once you sign in, you'll have this, this, this as well when you sign in. And these are just other puzzles that other people have created. Okay. And so yours can be up here as well. So um, up on the top here, you've got your home, which brings you back to here. Any puzzles that you've created, any saved games that you have, and you can also explore, you know, the last thing created, uh, you know, the week's most played, uh, you know, popular searches. And then you can also click create to create your puzzle. Uh, you can also create these little boards uh, so that you can go directly to your puzzles and you can save them in there as well. Now, I learned about this a while ago and quite honestly, I haven't used it, but I am going, I mean, I used it, but I'm, I'm going to start using this more actively because I love doing puzzles myself. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up to here on the, on the menu bar, and I'm going to click create. Now, once I click, uh, click on create, uh, I'm going to be given several different options. Okay. I've created an album for fam fall family portrait. And um, so you'll see a fall picture in there. So you can change the album that this is going to go to, or you can, you know, create a new album, or you can put it in that album. Right now it's default to that album, but I will need to upload an image. So uh, you'll need to create an image. Now, listen, you can create an image from anywhere. It can be an image of you. It could be, listen, you can give somebody a gift of a puzzle, of a picture of them. <laughs> How cool is that? I did this for my mom. It was on Amazon. Um, I sent her a puzzle picture of my sister and I. Um, this picture I love. I'm, I'm older, so my sister's in my lap. It was one of those professional pictures. And so I did that as a puzzle and sent it to her. Okay. So that is not this, but just to show you that, you know, people love puzzles. So and in this digital age, we love digital things. So digital page uh, puzzles, but we can choose an image. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to choose an image that I have in my folders here. I'm going to choose an image that I have in my folders here. And I'm going to create this puzzle along with you. Okay. So let's see here. We've got She Speaks AI. Now I do want something with a little bit more background to it. So let's see if I can find something that has more background to it. I don't know that I can do these. Oh, here's one. This is this. I like to 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 do a picture that has, uh, you know, things to it, right? Like I want it to look like something that people have to put together. So you want that background to have some things in it to be a little bit busy, so that people can put their puzzles together. So that would be a good one. This would be a good one. This would be this other one. Oh, is that the same one? No. Yeah. Okay. So that's a good one. My computer, my mouse isn't clicking, but this is another good one. I'm going to choose, I'm just going to go with this one, right? So I'm going to go with this one and then I'll open. 
All right. So now I have the name here. And I'm I'm just going to leave that as design. Well, I'm going to change the name to Nope, oh, I'm going to change it to Creative Urban Woman One. Okay. Now, you know, the level of hard that you want to create is here. So do you want to create it to be easy? If you sling it to easy, you've got four. So let's say that you are creating a children's. Listen, you can create children's and they can put together four pieces of a puzzle. Okay. Uh, and then you can just go to however many, all the way up to 300, which is a little, a lot more. Their pieces are going to be smaller, right? And, um, but let's just, for all intents and purposes, let's make this real easy right now, right? Because I'm going to show you how this works and we're going to put it together. So let's just do it. At, leave it at 15. All right. Now here you can change the shapes. And so this is a standard puzzle shape. I'm going to leave it like that. But you've got these other different shapes I think will be pretty cool for you to do that. Um, the rotation. So check to start the puzzle with randomly rotated pieces. It makes the puzzle uh, more difficult. So you can put it on rotation. Um, and then let's see, change the album. So I'm going to, you can, I don't have another album to put it in. Okay. So I'm going to do that. And then you can add tags. But ultimately what I'm going to do is click create. I mean, it's just that simple, right? Click create. And now this is what my board looks like. And this is what your users will see when you, they see your puzzle. And so you just begin to put your puzzle pieces together, right? And how do we do that? Look for the middle pieces or the ends, rather, the end pieces. We try to put those together. And I don't know about you, but I, I put my corners. I kind of lay things out, you know. Uh, this looks like that goes there. And so you should have heard a click. You should have heard a click. My mic is attached, so I can't hear anything. <laughs> so I don't know what you're hearing, what you're not hearing, but you should have heard a click, right? And then here's another one right there. And so, yeah, you just begin to put these pieces to the puzzle together. How fabulous is this, okay? Now this is an easy puzzle, so it's not gonna take that long to put this together. And um, you'll be able to do this really quickly. now. I'm going to show you what it looks like right now. It has a timer, so it's showing you how long it's taking. You can pause a timer, so that way when you want to come back to it, you mail. can. Um, I've got mail. And um, so you can come back to that, and then you can pause it, or you can play it again. Now, what you can use this for. So... You know, what if you use this? I've already given you some, already given you some ideas. But what if, here's a few more, that you use this in faceless videos. Like I'm talking right now and I can be putting this video together and I'm telling you all about whatever it is that I'm talking about. And maybe it pertains to what this picture is. Why is my phone going off now with You Got Mail? Let me turn that down. And so you got this faceless video and you are putting it together and it now is adding up to a picture of what it is that you're talking about. So let's say you're like, well, how can I use this? I'm a financial coach. How could I use this? Well, what if you had a graphic of whatever it is that you're talking about, a budget worksheet, uh, whatever it is, something you're going to give away you know, anything, a dollar signs and bank accounts, right? If you were doing self-care and you had a person running, you know, on here, you had a, a, a fabulous meal, okay? And I got one left, I'll hold off onto that for a minute. And you can see this picture beginning. So what if you use this as a faceless video where you have the picture that represents what you're trying to communicate, um, what you're talking about, and you're speaking your content out as you're putting this video together, okay? What if you offered it as a part of your coaching program? So if you got like, let's say, a self-care coaching program, so you can offer this to your people, right, in your group, they'll have the links to, you know, do video. This is a part of self-care, taking some time out for you to unwind, you know, something you can do, you know, while you're sitting in the bathtub, let's say, right? You know the way to, to do that. Um, what if you offered it as a part of your coaching program? So you're going to get this jigsaw puzzle as a part of your coaching program. 
What if you use this as a lead magnet? What if you use this to nurture your lists, to keep your lists going, or just have it on your website so that people can come to your website and you can begin to generate traffic to your website? So I'm going to put the, now I thought I put that on silent. <laughs> I know I put it on, I turned, oh, I turned the volume down, but I didn't put the sound. Okay. All right. Uh, and I never even have the sound on. That's the funny part. So I'm going to put this last piece in here. And now you've got congratulations. Of course, it took me four hours or four minutes and 15 seconds to put together four pieces, 15 pieces over here. But you'll notice down here for the people that are signed in, it will calculate their time. OK, so what could you do with that? You can run a contest today. I'm running a contest for all the people that do it. I'm going to give away blah, 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 blah. Right. For the top, you know, the, the person that took the, the shortest amount of time to put this together. The winner, okay? So it's a, a few, but you got to be signed down. Let them know that they have to sign in. Um, you can share this these links as you see at the top. You know, this is in what the family portrait. I need to create another one. Uh, and there's 15 pieces to this puzzle. You can play as so now you can you can actually as a user. Uh, maybe I don't want 15. I can you know go. I want to play it as. Right. I don't want to save this game. I can start a new game. And then now it changes it to 24 pieces. OK, so it shows. So now I have more pieces. Let me show you what it looks like at 300 pieces. And there you have it. So you've got this is going to take you a little while. Right. You've got all these little pieces to then put together. So I like that the user now has the ability to change their pictures and um, and then make sure, you know, one of the other things you can do is put your logo on these things uh, so that when you are putting, people are putting together their pictures or their puzzles, I should say, they have a logo, okay? So they have a logo, you know, in the corner or something, let's see this corner piece, and it'll have your logo there, okay? You can share the puzzle here. You can share it to Facebook. You can get an embed code and embed it onto your website, uh, or if your website takes links, you can just do the links. Um, you can edit, you can delete, you can move, edit the properties. Let's look and edit the properties. So if I want it to come up, I want to change the name, I want to change where it's going, change the tags, then I can do that there, right? Right. So ultimately, I've given you or shown you how to create your very own digital puzzle. And I've given you some ways that you can use this to bring customers and to nurture the customers into your business, no matter what kind of business that you have. I mean, if you had a coffee shop, listen, if you had a coffee shop, what if you had one of those little bar, what do they call those? Ugh. The little scan codes. It um, right now it is escaping my memory. The little scan pictures where you scan scan the codes, um, and you can create one of those in somewhere like Bitly. They have a, a bunch of places where you can create those uh, little picture codes. What are they called? They're called. This is gonna bug me. QR codes. They're called QR codes. So what if you had a QR code that went to this puzzle or it went to a landing page where they'd have to put in their email address and name, and then they can get this puzzle while they're sitting in your coffee shop. I'm saying you can use this for both offline and online. Okay. So this is a wonderful tool. So I've shown you some ways that you can make um, nurture your list, send it out an email. You can um, just a whole lot of different ways. I want to know from you, what are some other ways you see yourself using this? Or if you've already used this and you already know, then tell me what other ways um, this audience of people can, you know, use this puzzles. All right. So that's all I got for you here today. Let me know what questions you have. I'm going to drop the link to this puzzle in the um in the in the comments in the in the description in the description for this video i'm going to drop the link there and i'll see you on the next video until we meet again you be blessed be fruitful and open.